get set to enjoy the Logan Kidd received the surprise of a lifetime. He thought he was in the library as a reward for good behavior. In reality, he's there to see his dad for the first time since Christmas. Logan's daddy. His dad, Brandon, has been away serving as a recruiter for the Marine Corps. He spent his first day back surprising his son at school and receiving a hero's welcome from every student at Beasley Elementary. Deanda, Deanda. What are you doing? Oh, man. <laughs> What's up, man? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, man. Good to see you. Oh. I'm back, baby. I'm back. I'm back. A chance that Sergeant Rabel Hill and his daughter Ryan Schuyler Hill almost didn't get. I honestly 
had come to terms that you weren't going to be here. I was like, okay, it's fine. Sergeant Hill was deployed six months ago and hasn't seen his family since then. We were able to put a lead until June 1st. I went to my commanders and said, hey, um, my daughter's burger, because then we can get this process a little faster. And we were able to get it done. He got back to South Carolina on Thursday and has been staying in a hotel to surprise his entire family at the graduation. Nervous? Scared? Why are you here? <laughs> Why am I here? <laughs> like, how did you get here first time? Ryan Schuyler graduated from Lexington High School along with 400 other students at the Colonial Life Arena. While family and friends enjoyed the ceremony from the stands, Sergeant Hale hid behind the curtains waiting for his daughter's name to be called. Oh, I got it on now. <laughs> <laughs> These were some of their first moments together. A combination of tears and laughter had them both speechless. I'm so, so, so proud. It's, it's extremely excited that she's, she's taking that step. Ryan Schuyler signed up for the Army National Guard out of Charleston and leaves later this year. As for Sergeant Raven Hale, he has 14 days left to enjoy his family after the big surprise. Sonia Gutierrez, News 19, WLTX. I'm Navy Lieutenant Heather Goitley. I just returned from Kandahar, Afghanistan, and I'm here to surprise my sister at her college graduation. I would like to introduce Elizabeth Golightly. Elizabeth is graduating with a Bachelor of Science degree in Social Science, and she will be leading our Pledge of Allegiance this evening. Before she begins, I would like to share a message which I received last week from her sister, an FSU alumna, Navy Lieutenant Heather Golightly, who is currently stationed in Afghanistan. I quote from her letter, Dear Elizabeth, first and foremost, I want to thank you for your constant love and support from the day I earned my commission five years ago until now as I serve in Afghanistan in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. Although I missed your high school graduation because I was deployed in the Pacific, there hasn't been a day when I was out to sea or even now in the desert that I haven't thought about you. You followed in my footsteps attending one of the most prestigious universities in the country. Be proud to be a Seminole. I know that I am. Go Knowles. Today marks the beginning of the rest of your life, and I'm absolutely thrilled to have the, priv have the privilege to be here to see it. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and join me. Please stand and join me in proudly welcoming home one of our own Navy Lieutenant Heather Go Lightly. I thought she was still in the desert. <laughs> Because I, I talked to her yesterday and she was telling me how much she was upset that she couldn't be here. So I am so glad that she is here. <laughs> I'm so glad I could be here. I don't want to say too much. I'll start falling, but I've been planning this for months. I completed my mission two months early so I could be here to be at your college graduation since I missed your high school. I'm so glad to get so All Beaver's family and friends.
Hey Dad, it's me over here in good old Bahrain. Just wanted to uh, wish you a happy birthday and let you know I'm sorry I couldn't be there, but you know, duty calls. And uh, you know, if I was there, I wouldn't miss this for the world, special occasion and everything. So, and if I know you right about now, you're starting to get all teary eyed. <laughs> short and sweet, and uh, do me a favor, and suck it up, princess. Turn around and give your son a hug. Love you. Turn around and give your son a hug. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute here. Santa is way too busy this time of year to be coming to people's houses. I don't think that's Santa under there. Oh, I think someone's tricking us. Who's tricking us? Take off his stuff, guys. Someone's tricking us. Take off his hat. Ethan, take off his hat. Carter, take off Santa's hat. No, Carter, don't do it! Ethan, go look at Santa's eyes. Look at his eyes. Look in his eyes. Who is that? Take off your glasses, Santa. Take off your hat, Santa. Take off your wig, Santa. Who is it? Is that Daddy? <laughs> Daddy got you a dinosaur. Carter, who is it? Well, I got you girly stuff. Thank you, Daddy. What do you think? He was on the road. Ethan, what do you think? I was Santa. Yes. Was that a good surprise? Yeah. Yeah? Do you have a hug for Santa, Ethan? 
Or daddy? <laughs> we'll give daddy a big hug. Carter, where's daddy's big hug? He's home now. No more desert for daddy. No more desert for daddy. My. I told you I had a big surprise for you.